It's common practice to have multiple Excel files open at the same time, but we can waste a lot of time flitting back and forth between them. In this tutorial, you'll learn some game-changing tips that are guaranteed to streamline your workflow, making it easier than ever to navigate, arrange, and seamlessly work between multiple Excel files. I've currently got four Excel files open, as you can see in the taskbar, and it's pain to navigate between them by using the taskbar to choose which file I want to go to. It's far quicker to use the keyboard shortcut, Control and Tab, to toggle just through the Excel windows. And if I want to toggle backwards, Control Shift and Tab will get me there. By the way, this same Control Tab shortcut works in PowerPoint. And in Word, the shortcut is Control Shift and F6. Sometimes you need to see multiple files on the screen at the same time. We can use the Arrange tools to help display them. By the View tab and then Arrange. Here we can choose to view them tiled, which sizes the workbooks equally in the space. Alternatively, we can choose a horizontal layout. And that's really no good if you've got more than two files, because as you can see here, with the ribbon expanded, we can't see anything. If we minimize the ribbon, we see a few rows. The other option is vertical, which suits Excel's layout a bit better. Alternatively, we can cascade all the windows. And then that allows us to easily choose which one we want to work with. You can use the pull handles on the sides of the window to resize it or drag it around by grabbing the top. Alternatively, you can arrange individual windows using shortcut keys. To snap to the left, press the Windows button and the left arrow key. Then you'll be asked which window you want to see on the right, and you can click it from the pane. Of course, the other arrow keys also work, so we can Windows up arrow, and then choose the window we want to see in the bottom. Whichever window you have selected at the time will be the one that's docked in the direction of the arrow and then you can choose the file you want to see in the next window. If you have Windows 11, you can grab the window and bring it up to the top of the monitor and you'll be presented with six different arrangement options. You can drag your workbook into the area that you want it to fill and then if you don't have anything already in the other two spaces, you'll be asked to choose from the list. Now this menu is also available from within Excel just by hovering over what was the old Maximize button. In fact, you have this option in all Office apps and some other non-Office apps as well. So it's not exclusive to Excel. The nice thing about Windows Groups is that they're remembered, so you can go back to them. If I hover over the taskbar for Excel, you can see over here I have a window group containing three workbooks and I can get back to it easily enough. This one's still visible because that was the one I had selected when I went down to the taskbar. You can also close files from the group. So if I click on the X here, I can close these three files in one click. If you're working in a file where you need to reference data on multiple sheets and you want to see them side by side, you can create a new window via the View tab. And what that does is it opens another instance of Excel for that same workbook. You can see up at the top here, I've got workbook 4-1 and here I've got workbook 4-2. This is the same workbook open twice. And from here, we can view them side by side. It actually arranges them horizontally and any changes I make in one instance of the workbook are immediately replicated in the other instance. They're not copies of one another. They're the same workbook, so you don't have to worry about them becoming out of sync. With this view, synchronous scrolling is also turned on by default. We can see it over here. And this means when I scroll in one workbook, the other one scrolls at the same time. Super handy if you want to reconcile something because this allows you to look at a different sheet in the same file at the same time. Now, obviously it'd be better to see them side by side. So let's do that. And now when I scroll, you can see they scroll in sync. Of course, you can turn the synchronous scrolling off. If I maximize the ribbon, we can see it easier. In the View tab, just deselect synchronous scrolling. And then if I Windows and left arrow, now when I scroll in the left-hand workbook, the right-hand one doesn't scroll and vice versa. 
When you have multiple instances of the same workbook, and by the way, you can have more than two, you can also navigate to them by the switch windows button here. So we can see I've got workbook 4-1, which is this one here, or I can go back to workbook 4-2. And of course the keyboard shortcut control tab also works to switch between the two workbooks. When you're done with the extra view of the workbook, simply close one of them and you'll be left with just one instance of the workbook. Alternatively, you can close them together via the taskbar and then when you next open that workbook, it will automatically open two instances of it. I hope you found the tips in this tutorial useful. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.